is here, so is the busiest buying time of the season. It is open house weekend across the country. Yeah, whether you're buying, selling, or you just like to look inside other people's homes. <laughs> Listen up, Elizabeth Hopkins is live at One Home for Sale and sits you with this morning. Hey there, Lily. Hey guys, I am here, and you know what? It's so funny that you said that, Shannon, because yes, I happen to be one of those people who loves to see how people decorate, how the layout and the flow is. Uh, we're here in this gorgeous home in Situate as part of National Open House Week, and we wanted to give you a look at what is going to happen on this National Open House Weekend. There will be thousands upon thousands of open houses throughout the country, about 31,000, and millions of dollars worth of properties on, on the market throughout the country. This is a great opportunity to kick off that house hunt if you're on it and take a look at some of the places that are up for offer in your local neighborhood. Here in Situate, this home is, uh, well, let's ask the realtors. Come on through the kitchen here into the dining room. Hi, guys. Guys, you are the realtors who are, who are offering this house here in Situate. Tell me a little bit about the home that is up for offer here. Sure. Well, this is your classic New England salt box, Colonial, that from the street looks kind of like a cute, once again, older style, but then you get this huge addition in the back, open concept kitchen, two-car garage, so it's a perfect blend of new with old, so we love this house. Yeah, it's gorgeous, and there's something like five bedrooms, yep. six fireplaces, three and a half baths. This yep. is a great house. You just answered all my questions. It's uh, <laughs> built in 1829. And uh, a lot of history with the house, classic older house where they first built the small front portion and then they did an addition like John mentioned and then the two car garages. So the cool aspect of it obviously is the six uh, fireplaces. Everybody seems to get a kick out of that. I love that. And actually I'm going to let uh, my photographer Flip here kind of walk past us a little bit and take a look at the rest of the house. But as you guys have, th have been looking at the market, you say it's rebounded a little bit in recent months, especially with such a warm and early spring. Yes, it's been a pleasant surprise. Uh, we, every spring is busy, but this spring has been unusually busy, and we're excited about that. And it's obviously, I think, because interest rates are low, the stock market's doing well, and the warm winter had a real profound impact. The, the spring market started earlier than it usually did, and then we were worried it would die out, and it still hasn't. There's still a ton of buyers out there, so for those who are looking to sell, they're pretty happy right now. The other thing, too, is, I mean, interest rates right now are very, very low. That has to be helping things, because people are able to afford homes that in the past they might not have been able to. Absolutely. Finally, we're seeing rents creep up where folks are saying, you know what, it makes more sense now to purchase, especially when they can do a 30-year fixed for 3.75 or even in the low fours, and then you've got these 10 and 15-year fixed mortgages in the high twos and low threes. So it's really, that's a huge driver with the buyers right now. What's interesting to me is it seems as though these homeowners have done everything right. I mean, they've got everything that you hear about on those shows where they have the neutral wall colors, and it's free of clutter, but there are some areas that everyone can improve upon. But what are, you, what are your tips to your sellers when you try to put their home on the market and get a uh, lot of eyes on a property. Well, just like you said, we've been lucky with these sellers. They've done a great job. But always the basics are clear the counters off, the bathroom, um, table that looks just like that where it's just got one ornament in the middle. That's how to do it. All the stuff that you have in everyday life all over your house, the jackets hung up all over the place, you've got to bring that stuff down, put the stuff from the counters, in the cabinets, in the drawers, declutter because less is more. You know what I love, too, is uh, when I think about stagers, I think, well, that's something that only the wealthy could have. But actually, stagers are accessible for all different price points. Sure. And we actually have a stager in the home, which later in the morning we'll show you a room before and a room after and all the recommendations that they're putting forward uh, as when you're trying to get people through the home and taking a look at their house as potentially someone else's house. Uh, McGee and Lamakia, the uh, men behind the Realty <laughs> Team duo, we appreciate you, you guys being here. We'll talk to you in just a little bit.